All right, guys, we're in Houston. We got swangers, we got high speed cars, we got a lot of wild shit to show you tonight. Welcome to Texas, baby. Let's go on an adventure. I'm not gonna lie, this shit makes me a little nervous. It makes me nervous too. Did that before you about to go crazy fast? You gotta get loose. You gotta get the blood flowing, dog. One of the strange things about humans is they find death-defying things to do to test their soul and test their spirit. Some people surf gigantic waves, some people climb up the side of skyscrapers, and some people take their car as fast as it can go. In a strange way, by flirting with death, humans feel most alive. And today we explore a story that is sort of in that vein. The Houston takeover scene. This is a controversial sport. The advocates of this scene say this is an innocent way to have fun and let off steam. But the opponents of this say that it is dangerous, reckless, and that it even can damage business owner property. The Houston takeover scene is one of the biggest in the country, and it really got big during COVID. We tap in with some of the main guys in this scene, including Power by SRT, who's famous for a police chase that went viral. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to giddy up. What we're about to get into today is dangerous, controversial, high speed. I'm always fascinated by how humans express themselves, particularly when they're living on the edge. Skydivers, free climbers, bull riders in a rodeo. It's interesting when humans seek hobbies that are brush with death or kind of walk that tightrope. This is something that's been very crazy in the city since COVID. These car meetups got gigantic and there's been police chases and helicopters. And just recently, Governor Abbott has signed a bill that after September 1st, we're filming this as of August 12th, that the police can seize your car if you're participating in things like this. So very serious consequences. We're gonna dive into this, the controversy, the excitement, and the people behind it all. See you there. How fast are you gonna go with these guys? Not fast, dude. I have like three big fears in this life. Sharks, height, and speed. And so, I don't know, this is not me. Sorry guys if I'm being a bitch, but I don't think I'm gonna be popping out fast. Today is the day, goddamn. How many people do you think are gonna be coming out? They're gonna be pulling up, just give them a minute. You see, they still coming. Probably 30, 40 cars, maybe. <laughs> So what do you guys love about the scene? What makes you say, I'm gonna do this? This is something I do. I mean, well, this is my life, you know what I'm saying? This is what I do every day, you know what I'm saying? Since I started doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? About, been doing this shit about, what, about four years, about three, four years now. So the word on the street is when COVID hit, this started going crazy. When the streets were empty, that's when this car scene really picked yeah. up. Is that the case? Yeah, we was outside when niggas was inside. It exploded during COVID. Uh, mostly everybody else was inside and the car people, not so the only people outside riding. So then the car meets kicked up. When the car meets kicked up, you know what I'm saying? That's when all the bullshit started. We just started turning up. Mm -hmm. The other thing I've been researching, this it's a little bit controversial, right? Like I just saw Governor Abbott sign into law September 1st. Oh, he'll seize yeah. people's shit. Right? Mm -hmm. he'll, see, he'll seize your car if you're caught. What do you guys think about that? Oh, uh, well, sh you know, I had my car seized already. Really? Yeah, he, he had two cars You had seized. two cars seized before. So how does that work? Like, that just sweep under your... They use it for, say, for instance, if you're sliding and there's like a spectator right there or something, that's deadly conduct. That's the way, the way where, where they can take your car. Ladies, what's going down tonight? Tell Today, the people what you're expecting. we are getting shicey activities. You know, we got too much motion to be in our emotions, okay? So, that's the deal. Are you guys driving or passengers? We are passengers. I'm a passenger princess. Is that scary as out of you? No, no. No? What's the fastest you think you've gone? 160. And what did you think? When you were going 160, what was going through your head? I'm untouched. I can't be touched. All right. You felt good. So basically, the adrenaline rush was sick, but like, did any thought going through your mind, like, I could die today? I could die right now? You can die right now. I'm not going to die right now. You can die right now. Did you guys look for men that are fast drivers? Like, that's someone I want to be with? I mean, I don't look for them, but they attack me. For the people that don't know, where are we right now? We are in the hood. We're in the hood right now? We're in the hood right now? All right, when we hit the road, I'm gonna pull up next to your car and I'm gonna go as fast as I can. If you guys don't pass me, then you have to go home. Oh, what car you got? I have this super car over there. It's like a $400,000 car, I think. Oh. The Toyota? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota 
ever again, right? Nah, <laughs> nah, man. What can the people expect tonight? Man, some of everything, bro. I mean, you might see anything, nigga, from booty cheeks to Dracos to <laughs> drink, weed, nigga. You might see a race on I-10. You know what I'm saying? What attracts you to this lifestyle? I love Hellcats. I love 392s. You know, I love 6.0s, 6.2s, 6.4s, 5.7s. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know, but this is this is the person right here who actually got me started on um, actually joining the car community and actually getting the cars. You know what I'm saying? He like an unsung hero. Bro, game me up. You know what I'm saying? What do you got of the Houston car scene? Man, it's really it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. Is it controversial in the city? I mean, yeah, it depends. It depends, really. I guess how I think about it, I want people to have fun and, and let loose. But like, if I had a parking lot that people tore up every week and I had to pay to repave it, I'd be like, well, what the hell, you know? I mean, yeah, but at the same time, we've had, like, there's a legal pit out here in Houston. It's really? In Dallas. We've tried before to have a legal pit somewhere up in the Woodlands area, and HPD Task Force actually shut it down. So we've tried to stop doing that before, but they just keep pushing us back to the street. Let's go. You just did that before you're about to go crazy fast? Yeah. You gotta get loose. You gotta get the blood flowing, dog. It's like waking up in the morning, brushing your teeth, and ain't gonna do nothing. All right, I have, a, I have a question for you guys. What do your mothers think about this hobby of yours? Like the cars and shit? Going fast in the cars. She don't give a shit. She don't give a shit. They, they, they know? Yeah, she, she, I'll be sending her videos of people spinning and shit. Does it make her scared? Yeah. She, she just wants scared. us to be safe. Yeah. As yeah, long as I'm it. not doing it, be good. She knows I know how to drive. Exactly. You know, but it's like. Yeah. How far is that from here? 30 minutes. Yeah. So we're gonna be driving fast too there. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You gotta drive fast. It's Houston. You'll see. You gotta go 100 at least. I hear you got the fastest car around here. <laughs> what do you love about the car scene? The rubber smell. We getting wild in the middle of the street. Don't give a f running red lights. Everybody lined up with their hats on. Does it make you feel alive? Yes. What's better, going fast in the car or sex? Damn, going fast in the car. I know you have your girlfriend next to you, so this answer it your best way, okay? What's better, sliding or sex? I mean, the feeling you get with sliding is just like different. You feel like everything, but like sex is just honestly sliding. You don't get to slide that much. Sex is more than sliding, so I mean. Y'all gonna ask power that question? For the safety of all the shit that's going on, I'm gonna say sliding. In, in, order, in order to know how to drive, you gotta be able to know how to get in and out of traffic. And it ain't just about sliding, it ain't just about doing donuts. You gotta get out of in and out of traffic, being able to get out of the jam whenever you have to. It's, just, it's a lot come with. If we wanna get to the next location safely, who do we hop in with? I'm not trying to be a big but I see these guys drinking Hennessy and talking about going 100 oh, yeah. miles an hour. That's what I was saying, drinking and driving. I'm, I'll pass on, on going in their car. I mean, I could tell them to hitch in with somebody else, y'all can hop in with me. I'm, look, it's me, I'm the safest one here. If two of us hop in with you, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Some you guys try to hit like corporate parks that have huge parking lots? Yeah, usually like it's that. like these kind of buildings. It'll be like in the background, in the back of them. They'll have like big open lots where like 18 wheelers will come through. What do you love about sliding and racing? It gets the adrenaline going. It's just kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, that's really it. It's just fun. You don't really get nothing else into it. Y'all know we got the new law, all that shit, bro. So we don't need all y'all niggas to be recording and posting this on Instagram. Record y'all videos, record y'all shit, and hold it. Let niggas go home and get somewhere safe. And if you posting somebody's shit that y'all know is known, put the picture in black and white. We gotta be safe right now, bro. Nobody wanna slide for y'all, nobody wanna show out. If y'all niggas gonna get niggas caught up. And let's turn the fuck up. Fuck all the dumb shit, let's go. Someone hit these crazy white boys out of the 
Goddamn yeehaw is going on over here. Sit here and stand here. I ain't gonna do that. We go to the next spot, big ass meet. The bikes here, you know what I'm saying? It's a big parking chill. You get to see all the cars and all that shit. They don't want to get active. Shit. I don't sit here and wait for the ass. But we're going to bike life now. Yeah, we, it's really a big ass car meet, you know what I'm saying? It's like one of the biggest ones in the city, but bike life is there because they host car meets too. What happens if police catch you and they pull you over? Like, what, what does it look like after that? If you're speeding, regular speeding, then it's just a ticket. If you're reckless, going double the speed limit, you're going to jail. Tell me about the part with, uh, like, that they can smell the rubber. So, like, if we just left that meat, boom, we just spun it a lot. My tires would stink and smell. And it's almost like smelling, smelling weed in the car. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, obvious yeah, smell. Yeah, very obvious. They'll be like, okay, well. I just got a call, blah, blah, blah. I smell it on your tires, step out. I mean, I, I suspect that you've been doing something that you're not supposed to, so you're finna go to jail. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for the first time oh, I've yeah. in Houston. How you liking the weather? Oh, it's, uh, my balls are sweating all the time, dude. I hear that there's a law coming out where Governor Abbott signed that they can seize cars if they're involved in racing and things like that. Yeah. Tell me about that. The state is passing a law to where if you run from the police and they don't catch you, and they can get your license plate and they get a description of the vehicle and you know whatever they need then yes they can seize the vehicle how serious of a problem is it in houston it's pretty serious yeah, yeah. would you say it's kind of out of control it, yeah it can it can get out of control okay so what are we looking at man my dad he's a he's a lid builder and he built a trunk and these are 17 g8 and so they're eight inches long and what are those right there Swingers. Swingers. What do you love about oh, cars? I like old school cars. And the thing that I like old school cars is they're so plain. They're not like these new cars that have all the details and stuff. They're just a straight metal on metal and not plastic and stuff. What's your name, brother? Isaiah. Is there an Instagram you want people to look you up on? Isaiah Base 713. I have my own business, actually. You do? Yeah. I make custom mail signs like that. Like this? Yeah. Hey, what you're doing is really cool. Thank Appreciate you, you dog. All right, thank Have you. a good day, okay? All right, you too. So let's get something to eat. It really runs this shit, not really me. It's my wife right here. My girl, she's number one model. She runs all the models in H Town as well. We're about to show you the famous pupusa makers. I'm gonna show you right here. Go show them real quick. This lady right here, they're, they're called El Heredero. They've been with me since day one, since we started this about five years ago. Check it out how they make it look. So that's how it comes out, then this is what it turns out to be. Are these like Mexican pancakes or something? So it's just basically bean and cheese. So think about oh. it as like a corn mix, and then um, they put bean and cheese inside of it, and then they cook it. This is Houston flavor right here, folks. I think I'm gonna retire, come to Houston, and just become fat. 
eat tacos all day. Next, we rendezvoused with some of Houston's most fearless drivers at a secret location. One thing I completely forgot about, I think we have to cover more of your story. Yeah, I know there was a lot of shit going on, bro. We didn't get a chance so, to actually do that. About two years ago, three years ago, you're, you made a famous getaway from a car meet, right? Yeah. Tell the people about that. Well, you know, shit. We was at a, at a video shoot for a local Houston rapper, you know what I'm saying, part of the Sauce Factory. Popped out to the meet, it was going down, you know what I'm saying, we turning up all that shit. Kept getting calls, hey, power slide, turn us up real quick, you know what I'm saying, go out there and do some shit. So I'm like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying, let me get out there and do it. So I go to slide and this shit, doing my little shit, you know what I'm saying, boom. You know what I'm saying, fucking mopeds and shit, they pull up, cutting up, making noise. So, you know what I'm saying, when they came, then the fucking police came. So, you know, I mean, shit, I, I usually do this shit all the time. When the police come, I'm like, shit, fuck them. You know, so I'm gonna keep sliding, doing my shit. But I actually had stopped sliding. And, uh, shit, I don't know what made the law man, you know what I'm saying, come behind me. I was sitting down still, just sitting there, all the cars out there. Out of all the cars, he came directly to my car. And shit, just like the little Instagram meme, some say go. I just went. And then when I got out, I went to jail for it, you know what I'm saying? How long to, did you go? You sure? Well, I went to the county, you know what I'm saying? I bonded out like the next day. Well, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? The city bonded me out. The whole Houston car community came together and they put money together and they bonded me out. I didn't even have to use my own money to bond out, you know what wow. I'm saying? So that's why I don't never turn my back on the city when they need shit or they ask me for shit, you know what I'm saying? They want us to do shit, you know what I'm saying? After this, I got to prison. I went to prison for like a year. You know what I'm saying? For, for the, the car chase. shit. Yeah, for the chase, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you think about that? Man, it was some bullshit, bro. Worst experience in my fucking life. And not not just actually prison, but you know what I'm saying? Like the living conditions. What was it like? Horrible, you know what I'm saying? The way they treat a motherfucker, like horrible. You know what I'm saying? You think, you know what I'm saying, you're in prison and the guy next to me trying to kill me, he trying to survive just like you, bro. It's just the conditions are horrible, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, the people, they good. We're in Houston, making things happen. Having a good night doing a documentary, so let's do a little shot. Little? Yeah! That's all right, I can That's what I'm talking Tennessee. about. H Town, baby. So, when you saw Power go down and actually serve time for stuff like this, for the car scene, what did you think about that? Shit, it was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just had to hold it down, you know what I'm saying? Because bro was gone, so it was like, we was fucking with this other car club, so it was like, we was lit. Bro was gone, we still had to keep his name alive, you know, so. You guys are very recognizable cars. Like, I saw a guy with a green car. I saw a guy with a, it looked like a fucking Pokemon. Yeah. But like, how can you do this and get away with it so much? Like, Basically, it's a wrap. So, shit, say for instance, like, what we normally do, if we do something, we finna go wrap that whole, either black, you know what I'm saying, white, it ain't gonna be you that. keep switching the colors. Yeah, you gotta keep switching it up, yeah. You guys just took us through the Houston, the car scene, the high speed, the sliding out, all of that. What are your final thoughts? Final thoughts, shit. When you come into Houston, tap in with hog shit only. You ain't been in Houston unless you been with hog shit only. It's HSO, the fuck the niggas who ain't with us. Yeah. For shit show. Definitely. On the Lord himself. On <laughs> Grandma's cookies. We out here. Yeah. <laughs> On my daddy daughter, niggas. Yeah. That's the first time I heard that one. Yeah. So guys, you took us inside your world. It's risky, it's dangerous, it's controversial. Yeah. Thanks for the show. One more, one more thing, fuck 12. Yeah, we outside. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Peace. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. You want to watch another? Here. You want to subscribe? Over here. See you next week.